Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna to attempt vinyl wrapping the hood on this 2018 Infinity G50. We're both amateurs at this, but we figured let's document it. Maybe it'll give you guys some inspiration or some idea of what's involved in doing this yourself. So the first step we're gonna be doing is cleaning off the hood with dish soap to strip any wax or dirt. Okay, so um, the best way to clean off your car, you wanna get off all the wax and grease um, so that the vinyl sticks the best. We're just using, you know, like one part dish soap to what, 10 parts water. We didn't even really measure it. It's just a good amount of water and dish soap and it has degreaser in it, so it's the best way to clean it off. So we're just gonna prep the surface. All right, so this, as a tip, if you're, if you're removing uh, dirt like that, you're not supposed to rub it in. So the what? best way to do it, <laughs> if you're trying to strip so if you're trying to like, right now you're just kind of pushing the dirt in, you have mm -hmm. to take a towel, the proper way is to take a towel, and you start flat, and then as you're going you roll up, so that you're getting different contact points on the towel, so that you're not embedding the dirt into the into the paint. So if you start here, you can start here and then just basically But I was rolling to get the friggin... Uh, I got that, but then first you got to get rid of the actual dirt off the, off the panel, otherwise you just rub it. You're just swirling. Yeah. And the idea is if you just stayed on one contact point, then you're just ingraining the dirt. When you start like this and you roll, you're literally introducing a new point of the towel every time. Yeah, like that? Yeah. But these are actually, just this, this blue cloth here, this blue cloth is actually a waterless wash cloth. It's designed specifically for this. Mm. It's on the wall. First, first thing when you get these cheap towels, rip the tag off. Is that scratches? Because I can scratch your paint. These are relatively cheap but they get the job done. Where's the alcohol? We could probably just use ethanol. Now you go liberal because this stuff evaporates like crazy. See, there's like nothing on there. So there's no point going for another soap round. Soap round. But there is the point of using the alcohol to strip the wax that was on your hood. I've done two passes with alcohol and a clean microfiber towel. It looks very clean now and ready to start applying the the vinyl. Hopefully it's not an epic fail. We're both this is our first time doing a panel, but I want to learn at the same time. Here's a look at the vinyl we have. Uh, it was on Amazon for $40. Yep, this is the six foot by five foot piece. Should be enough to cover the entire head. It's a little bit a nice, overkill, but we're probably gonna screw up a couple times. So. Yeah, it's got a nice looking leave on it. So when you're doing a carbon fiber wrap, you want to be conscious of the actual direction of the weave when you're laying down the actual wrap. All right, so we're gonna try to avoid creasing it as much as possible. Okay, so we just laid a gasket underneath it so that the hood would stay slightly elevated to let the heat out and also to give us working room. So this is where we stand right now. We're going to attempt to peel the backing off the vinyl and start adhering. Now, I've seen a couple approaches. I've seen them go from the front, peel, lay, and pull, yep. or side to side. So the one video I've seen today, <laughs> the one video, okay. uh, was a Mustang, which has a very similar concavity in the hood where it goes up with a couple ridges. Um, and he went side to side, and it was just one dude, he had no one helping so him. he anchored so, off the, the one side and pulled. Yeah, and he pulled it, and he just went across slowly. Um, but the vinyl was very forgiving, and it was the same vivid vinyl, so. Hopefully, uh, we can get so that. We want to get a good shot of that. Close this. Okay, so here's our initial contact point. It, it, it was very easy to work with. It actually allowed you to just smooth it out right by finger, by hand. I know. Okay. 
That's something to work with. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see right here. We're like almost at the end of the hood, but like we've almost deformed the vinyl from how hard we've been trying to push out these little bubbles and creases. Um, we realized that it's actually a lot better if you leave some creases within because so basically this whole area that he's working on right now was filled with different veins of air, but that actually works because you keep pushing the little bubbles into bigger veins and it gives you an outlet to push out. And you see how this is up, so there's always somewhere for the air to escape. Um, so we got through a lot more than we did in the past like hour going little by little by just doing that. Um, so I think this is what we figured out for the majority of it. And we're gonna go back to that end piece at the end and try and, um, try and get like, I don't know if you guys saw that right there, but there was like a pretty um, thin crease where it almost like uh, stuck up on itself and he managed to push it out just with his hands. What we're hoping for is that the, the few imperfections remaining will kind of disappear with the heat. So we figured out a neat trick. The vinyl's very forgiving. So you see how it's all dented up and stretched and um, mis disformed, mm -hmm. deformed? You can just heat it and it retains its shape. Check it out. This just goes back to how it was. It's ridiculous. We've been doing this for every time that we've like screwed up from stretching something too many times or like nearly denting it by like helping it to lift it up. It's amazingly forgiving. It's also super soothing to watch it. <laughs> so it's taken a few hours to actually get to this point. It's quite tedious, but at the end of the day, I would say it's something that anybody can do. It just takes time and some patience. Probably didn't have all the tools we could have had in hand to make this go smooth, but uh, we just used some microfiber towels and we didn't have the little felt line squeegee. But I'm in the home stretch now and I figured I'd uh, try to get a little bit of that on camera before we trim. Just to give you guys inspiration, if you want to consider wrapping yourself, it's doable. You don't need any special skills, just a lot of time and patience. All right, so we're at the point now where we're gonna cut it. If you look really closely, if you catch it in the right light, you may find some little dots here and there. Right here. Yeah, it. it's kind of hard to catch on camera. We're hoping that like, you know, f considering we're novices, and this is our first time, once you get it out in the sun and and whatnot, it'll, it'll level itself out and also maybe just throw a quick coat of wax on it. But from about two feet away, it looks really nice. If you're walking up to the car, you'll never even see it. So we're at the point now where we're gonna cut just a little bit below. We're gonna wrap around and then cut probably a good quarter of an inch so that we can actually wrap it around. Then when it comes time to peel it off in the future, it will actually come off. But it took a good four hours. It's definitely not something that's easy, but if you have the time and the patience, you can do it. And it's not like it's taxing on the body or anything. Just when you're holding the, the film up for a long time, it can kind of wear you out. But it looks really cool. I like how the light hits it. So we're gonna get a, get a blade and cut that up and then we'll come back to conclude. All right, so here's the end result. Uh, a few hours of uh, tedious labor, but at the end of the day, it looks really good. Looks pretty cool. Definitely worth the time we put into it. Why it works on this car, in my opinion, is the fact that it's already got the black mirrors. It's got these uh, this lip here, so it kind of all just ties together. But yeah, if, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that was installed by a professional. Yeah. All things considered, <laughs> right? From this, from a few feet away. My only complaint with my car right now is after looking at it now, I wish the hood came up to the grill. Yeah, well, yeah. it's one can't, of those trade-offs, right? Can't fault our work for that, though. Yeah. Hopefully this video gives you guys inspiration to try wrapping your own car. It's definitely doable. It just takes some time and patience. 
So thanks for watching and good luck.